nothing like the sound of a two-stroke in the power band. Your power band is extremely tunable. So this guide will show you how to get the best out of your two-stroke to suit the sort of riding you do. The blue power band is for four strokes. It actually feels loose and sloppy like diarrhea. And it's not just the feel, it sounds like a wet fart. Noisy but gutless, it's for a special breed of person that nobody wants to hang around anyway. So let's stick with real motorbikes, the two strokes. Enough said. Next is the pink power band. This one can rip you a new asshole that looks and smells great while doing it. Not for the faint hearted. The red power band. Everybody wants it. Almost no one can handle it. The fear and exhilaration of the red power band is hard to describe and has been best presented through seriously shitty memes over the years. The average human isn't designed to cope with the stresses and short-term injuries include having body parts torn off under acceleration. And if you thought excessive masturbation made you blind, wait till you try a two-stroke 500. The only good thing is eventually you will be able to reach for things on the top shelf. The red power band is so dangerous that only the most dodgy retailers stock it. And ads like this will try to manipulate you too. Time to grow a sack and just fill it with some gonads, Nancy. Yeah, give me a break. And finally, the yellow power band. Weak and floppy, it's great for KTM riders, those who just don't give a shit, and older riders like me who should have given up a long time ago. It's my personal favourite because I can't even keep the bike upright at walking speed. So the yellow power band means I rarely get out of first gear and achieve a speed where I could actually hurt myself. Perfect. Many thanks to the Traction ERAG research team. They have no idea what they're doing. But the white lab coats give our vids an undeserved credibility.